Hey there, Andrew here. Hope you're all doing well. So I've got two packages here, both of them from AliExpress, and they came relatively quickly to under two weeks. One is with traditional e-packet and the other one here is through a shipment broker. I can't turn this one around because it has packaged branding on the other side. But let's package these bad boys and see what we have here. And in this video, I'll show you how to create a winning ad that sells with just about any phone camera and show you how fun the entire process can be as part of building an e-commerce store through AliExpress. We have here a bunch of delicate jewelry here to film for content. They're pretty fine and small, so we're probably going to use a lot of macro shots with the phone. Typically, I'll order a test order from AliExpress, test out the products, inspect its quality, and then begin to film some content. By the way, yes, I am an Apple fan, so I'll be using an iPhone 12 Pro, but you can use any mobile phone to create killer ads. The point here is to create user-generated content, and it's so easy to do now with mobile phones phones you really don't need an expensive camera like this one here expensive lighting or a light box heck sometimes just a phone camera works better as an ad a Facebook Instagram TikTok snapchat ad can all be ruined by simply using a bad video or image it's so 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 important to spend the time and effort to create the ad creative right before you set your actual ad live so let's see how we go and how easy it is to create beautiful ads with just your phone then I'm going to to edit it myself and show you the final result and I'll also show you different ways to edit the video content even if you don't know how to use video editing software so let's get filming So I spent a few hours capturing content and we should have more than enough here to work with. So let's jump on my screen now, go over the content and edit it together. If you're enjoying this video so far or getting value out of it, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for more value and tutorials. So here's the result of that filming session. I have dumped all the files into this folder here and I've also marked the ones that I actually want to use with this green dot as you can see here. So just to give you a couple examples, here's what I come up with. Uh, with just the phone itself. So some real nice close-up shots, some macro angles. I've also used uh, some slow motion shots too, not this one specifically. So this one is a slow motion shot, as you can see. So this one specifically is filmed at 240 frames per second, but you're completely fine with using 120 frames as well, which most phone nowadays uh, have that ability to, whether it's an iPhone, Samsung, Android, whatever it is. So as you can see here, I've actually uh, shot these in portrait mode, not landscape. And the reason for this is because I want to get uh, I want to get these up and running for Instagram and Snap ads. Being jewelry ads, that's probably what I want to focus on at the at the moment. So I want to use the five by seven ratio and hence why it's shot in this format. Usually I'll shoot for both portrait and landscape and get that diversity in shots like I mentioned. So I would film both in both portraits. So as you can see here, I'm just missing up the shots, telling the model, you know, what to do, uh, having some props in there. So you get again, that diversity in shots. So now what we're going to do is we're going to edit these clips into something a bit more appealing than just these raw clips that we can see here. But we've got more than enough content here to start creating that ad. So to answer what software we may need to start editing our ad, here's what I use personally. I use Final Cut Pro, but that being said, Final Cut Pro isn't for everybody because firstly, you may not have a Mac. Um, Final Cut Pro is Mac specific, Apple specific. Beyond that, you might not want to start to learn how to use Final Cut Pro. You might just want to use something a little bit more simple. You might wa not want to purchase this because I believe from memory, I think it was like $500, $600, although they do have a free trial here. I totally understand for those who don't want to start learning how to use video editing software. So I'm gonna show you two websites that I use to edit video as well. Although now I do 
predominantly edit on Final Cut Pro, including for my ad videos and ad content. These two websites and platforms are also perfect for those who are starting out. The first one is wave.video, uh, which I'll start to show you how to edit these in my own account on wave.video. And beyond that, there's also Place It by Envato. I'll leave links to both these tools down in the description box below. But these are perfect tools to start you off with and really get you up and running with an ad video really quickly. And like I said, let's jump in and create a video right now. So the easiest way to use these tools is to use a template both these tools have templates for you to use and there's also pros and cons with each uh, platform which I'll show you what the differences are but let's start with place it so in this case we're going to go with Instagram stories because like I said we've shot this in portrait format so we're going to start to find a, an appropriate template that we can use let's keep it simple let's start with potentially Let's start with potentially this one here. If I had more time, I would go through all the templates and find the right template to use for this specific ad. I'm going to start adding slides or videos. You can uh, upload either an image or a video. In this case, it's obviously gonna be a video and then you can add slides to it. So I'm gonna go back and then basically we're gonna replace the starting image here. So we're gonna go down here and select the ones that we've earmarked. So this is going to be an important part. The first few seconds of your ad video will be extremely important. They usually need to be an establishing shot of some sort, which stops the scroller from continuously scrolling. So what we want is something that's really visually appealing that captures the attention. So let's go with maybe as an establishing shot. Probably you don't want a slow-mo shot to start off with, it's just too slow. Again, like I said, you want something to establish the interest. So probably I'd say this one here because it's a nice close up, maybe this one here. All right, let's start with this one real quick. So when should you use place it over waved up video? So in my opinion, when it comes to place it, it's rather rudimental with its feature set. So if you want more customization, then go with wave.video. If you want something to test and set up really, really quickly, then place it is a great way to simply insert some images or videos in and download that uh, video file. But with wave.video, you get a lot more control. So let's go with a blank video. And here I'm going to start to upload all the uh, videos that I want to use. And yeah, just to reiterate, the first few seconds of your ad video is going to be extremely important. Um, another note I'll add while this is uploading too is make sure that you are pushing the benefits, not just the features. Um, so what I mean by this is you want to be conveying in the video, what are the benefits of your product? Now, the benefits for jewelry in this case is really a sense of self-worth, feeling good about yourself, feeling stylish, etc. That's harder to show than something that solves a problem. Yeah, let's delete this. So what we're gonna add later down uh, after, after I've uploaded the videos is uh, the text overlay. But in the meantime, I'm going to continue to stitch up these different videos together into a 15 to 20 second video. Again, this kind of depends on what ad format you're using, which platform you're posting your ad up on. But typically you don't want it to be a minute long go aim for that 20 to 30 second uh, time frame because honestly, not many people sit around watching ad videos for more than 30 seconds. All right, so I've spent a few minutes playing around with this and I've spliced together the clips as you can see down here. Then I've added a text overlay uh, if I click on this, you can add text. I applied it to the whole video. Then I'm gonna add in one more thing in here. I'm gonna go into overlay and stickers, go into Giphy and then click. Since this is an Instagram snap ads placement, I'm going to search for swipe up GIFs and then I'll probably use one of these. So I'll probably use this one here. And so what this will do is it'll play as a swipe up motion. The point here is, and I'll give you a preview of this actual ad, 
I've got the establishing shot here, say it with love. And so basically with jewelry ads in this niche anyway, it's okay to be very, very minimal. You don't need to say too much in the video itself. Heck, you could even go without the text in this video. And so at the end, I've got a swipe up CTA. So call to action there, which is extremely important. You can continue to play around with it, add some overlays, uh, mess, around, mess around with the layouts too. And of course you have your audio. This is extremely important. If you have any voice overlay to your ad video, then be sure to add in captions to your video. There's a really easy way to do this. I'll show you in just a moment. But before that, most of the time, ads will feature music overlay. So you can add that music overlay either in audio, but my go-to sources for royalty-free music is definitely one, uh, artlist.io, or we have Epidemic Sound. These two libraries have a huge array of different royalty-free music. But the point being is you have a whole list, a whole library of different royalty-free music that you can use for your ad video. So before I download this video, I'm gonna add in a piece of music that I found earlier and then we're good to go. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drag this over back here and probably play around with it. And then let's click play. So this is quite loud. So I'm gonna actually bring it down to maybe 80%. So this is looking pretty nice. I am pretty happy with this given that I've only spent 10 minutes on this. Of course, I would sp usually spend far a lot more time than 10 minutes on an ad video. Uh, like I said, the creative is so important. So I'm just gonna cut the audio off here, click trash, and then there we have it. I'm pretty happy with this. So what I'm gonna do now is basically export it, click publish. So I've just jumped onto Snap Ads to show you what this may look like when you upload this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a name and title for this ad video. So let's just say XYZ Jewelry. Uh, and the headline will be, you know, same thing, say, uh, say it with love. So if I click play now, this is what it'll look like. So remembering this is all made with just a phone. And so I'm pretty happy with that. And one thing though, if there's any voice overlay in your video, remember to create subtitles for your video. Here is the trick that I was going to tell you about. Make sure you use Rev, that's rev.com. This is by far the easiest way to create subtitles for your video. So what you're gonna do is, and what, well, what, they, what they do is they translate your video for you. They, sub, they uh, add subtitles into the video. It's $1.25 per video per minute. So you get two options with this. They will basically ask you if you want burnt in captions or subtitles, which means if we go back into the uh, video here, you'll get the captions actually inserted into the video itself, or you can get an SRT file, which basically means it's a text overlay type file, which isn't burnt into the original video. Hopefully that makes sense. But most of the time in this case, you would want to go for specifically for ad videos, you want to go burnt in subtitles and captions. Again, it literally costs a dollar. So it's not expensive ads whatsoever. It's next to free. And with all of that added up together, you're going to have a pretty stellar ad video. So the other option you have is to outsource the content so you could film it and then send it over to someone on Fiverr, for example, to edit into an ad video for you. You'll then be able to use this video on all sorts of platforms with a little tweaking from Facebook ads and Instagram to Snap ads. Speaking of which, I'll leave a link down below where you can get free ad credit from Snapchat if you're planning to advertise on Snapchat with your new video content that you created. So even though the ad creative is so extremely important, you can have the best ad creative out there, but if your backend settings for your ads aren't optimized properly, your ad will not perform. If you need a hand with 
ad creative and how to set up ads that really push out your ads to the right people. I'll leave a link down below to Social Marketing Mastery Program in the description box below. And finally, if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, give this video a like and subscribe for more weekly videos and lessons. I'll also leave on screen here some more useful videos to help you on your journey in building your business. And don't forget all the links and tools I mentioned throughout this tutorial, as always, are in the description box below for your convenience. Comment below and I'll try to get through as many comments as possible. And as always, thanks for watching.